Anatomy of the teres minor muscle. The teres minor is a narrow muscle which originates from the posterior lateral surface of the scapula and it inserts into the greater tuberosity of the humerus. Here you can see the origin and here you can see the insertion and the muscle itself. The teres minor is innervated by the posterior branch of the axillary nerve. Here you can see in this diagram the posterior branch of the axillary nerve supplying the teres minor. It is the same nerve that gives cutaneous innervation to the lateral part of the shoulder. There is a lot of muscles around the shoulder area as you can see here. The teres minor contributes to important anatomical spaces in the posterior part of the shoulder, such as the quadrangular space. The boundaries are the teres minor superiorly, the teres major inferiorly, the long head of the triceps medially, the surgical neck of the humerus laterally. The quadrangular space contains the posterior humeral circumflex artery and the axillary nerve. The teres minor also contributes to the triangular space, and the boundaries are the teres major, the teres minor, and the long head of the triceps. The triangular space contains the circumflex scapular artery. The teres minor does not contribute to the triangular interval. The triangular interval, as you can see here, is between the teres major, the humeral shaft, and the long head of the triceps. It contains the radial nerve and the deep branch of the brachial artery. The teres major contribute to three important anatomical spaces. The teres minor, the smaller muscle, contribute to only two important anatomical spaces. A good way to see the teres minor muscle is on the sagittal view of the MRI, as you can see here. The infraspinatus is the main external rotator of the shoulder with the arm to the side. The arm is adducted. The teres minor muscle is the main external rotator of the shoulder with the arm abducted. Clinical examination, the horn blower's test. The test is used to determine the strength of the teres minor muscle. The patient and the examiner are both standing and the patient's arm is elevated to 90 degrees. The patient's elbow is then flexed to 90 degrees and the patient is asked to laterally rotate the shoulder. Weakness and or pain against resistance signals a positive test. Why is the teres minor an important muscle? So we know that the innervation of the teres minor is unexpected because it comes from the posterior branch of the axillary nerve. It's also important in posterior approach to the shoulder. Usually you go in the interval between the infraspinatus and teres minor. If you go below the teres minor, then it could be in the quadrangular space and it can injure the neurovascular structures, including the axillary nerve. Another important point, check if the teres minor is atrophied on the MRI. Atrophy of the muscle can be idiopathic or may be due to quadrangular space impingement or syndrome. Idiopathic atrophy is associated with rotator cuff pathology. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.